whoa, this is like I think my th third take on this video. All right, guys, so this is the Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ken Synergy X Factor Combo Throw Guide Team Super Guide Frank and Sentinel and everybody chemistry guide. I'm going to go over all of it. I'm going to give you guys a lot of stuff. I'm going to try to do it real quick so you're not sitting in this video for 20 minutes like, oh my god, I have to watch this whole friggin' thing. So I've been playing a lot with Ken in Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3. I really love him. Having a lot of fun. I'm going to show you guys some stuff and some things you should be doing with the character. So he has a lot of mix-ups and a lot of things. He doesn't really need that much help on his own for the most part, but he's really good. Um and damage and opening people up and he's got some stylish combos and some really interesting things. His tattoos are really broken and stuff like that. We're gonna start with some basic really cool interesting things that make him pretty good. Alright, so the first thing is his taunt increases his damage and it has a little meter at the bottom. Right? And it's also X-Factor cancelable. Right? So that's really funny too. So if you really want to get inside people's heads, you can do that. He also has a dash cancel. It's kind of like a Dante Bold cancel with um, with S and one of the attack buttons. It doesn't matter which one you do it, and it's only for grounded normals. So I can do like H, 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 Bold cancel, H. So it would be something like this. Uh. Alright, so basically how I did that extension, that's his main combo kind of extension. And there's different combinations with the normals that you can do that won't let certain parts of the combo finish. Like when you do that ground bar part here that I'm doing, I think you can't do like HS on certain ones and you can only do like S and then like medium HS when you do the launcher because they fall out of the hit stun. So you're going to have to kind of experiment with all that because there's like a thousand combinations. So for example, if I do light medium heavy, and then light me maybe again. Certain normals are going to drop out and certain things drop out from that combo. So just pay attention to the dash attack stuff and just see what works. But what you generally want to do to avoid scaling is just do the heavy normal. So like H, H, dash, H, and then do it. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how that works. And you can use that when they're blocking for pressure. And then you can go for stuff like a throw. And then you get a combo from that. So you can do stuff like this and stuff like that. So that's really good, it's really useful. His back throw isn't really that good, but his forward throw is like OP because he gets a good solid damaging combo or a kill if you X Factor in any solo or something off of every hit. And he can he can X Factor right after the thrown in the air. And then pretty much kill. Okay, so when he does this super, when you do the Tiger Knee Hadoken, his Air Hadoken, right there, and you do the um, Tatsu super, it basically puts him in a spinning knockdown state. Once a spinning knockdown state comes, you can do really viably one of two, I think possibly three things, I haven't tested the third yet, but you can do two things. If he hasn't used the ground bounce in his combo yet, let's just say you do like a basic launcher, LMHS, medium, medium, and just simplistic, keeping it really simple for the sake of just time. You do like LMHS, medium, medium, HS, and then you do the OTG super, and then you do this. You can still keep the ground bounce, so after the spinning knockdown, you can do the medium, that grounded medium tansu, and it'll give you an extended combo that way. Or, if you've already used the ground bounce, and maybe you have a second meter, you can go into a second Tatsu Super after doing a heavy Shoryuken as follows. I missed it. But you can do another one before they land and then go into a second Super and then do your DHC or whatever that you want to do from that. And it's a spinning knockdown. So pretty much every character in the game can get some form of hits to extend in DHC from that. So you would do, it would be something kind of like this. Right? So I would do this. And you have to match the buttons, that gives you more damage. And then you can get this super here. Now one thing to note is when you do his super, and you do this, when you get the spinning knockdown, in order to get the next character DHC, 
you have to do it pretty early in that spin. So you can't get it to like wait till the spin is done and then bring the character. So like when they're like here on that height level to get like a full like Dante gun million dollar super. That doesn't work, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But he doesn't really have a lot of viable ways that make sense in his combo game to land his other super. So his other super is this one right here. But he really doesn't have a viable way to really land that with his combos. I think it might be hit invincible, kind of like Captain America Stars and Stripes. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't tested that in training. I haven't done that. But if it is, you would just DHC to whatever character, you know, like whatever you're doing from that, if that lands, or if you have X Factor and you want to pop, it's the same thing. Kind of like a cool, right? So you would do something like this. Do your combo. So I would do like medium H and then go into it. Do whatever, right? And then do your super and whatever you want to do from that, right? So another thing is, is that off of his forward throw, you can just immediately X factor. And then do your combo from that, right? It's very height specific. Try to get, uh, let me see. And you don't even need to X factor, which is great too. And then go in your super, do your thing. If you have another double super, you can do the same thing. Like that. And then if you want to end early or something. You can't do stuff like that. That sucks. Alright, so now I want to go into some team synergies and stuff. Let's just imagine you have Ken Point and your Frank at the two. You can do something like this. Pause it says. Stuff like that, you get your level four. There's, I'm, these aren't optimal, I'm not doing optimal things, giving you guys ideas, but he works pretty good with Frank from that perspective. And even if he does use the ground bounds, if he does the full, like this, he can still get two shots, which is cool. And it's anywhere on screen. Oh, I mistimed it. But he can get two shots before he even falls, which is really great. Uh, you can get the two. I have to do it early. Just do it in the corner, it's probably be easier. See, so before he even falls, it's, uh, you can do it anywhere on screen. The problem with this though is, the problem with Ken at the two spot, in my opinion, is that his DHC in isn't great unless you have extra meters because then he can extend, maybe build another bar in that interim and get another super and then go in. So he kind of has that ability. He kind of needs meter. Ken is really good if he has meter because it allows him to extend his combos. And then if you take a look at his meter build, Let's get to player settings here. We're gonna do this. He gets meter pretty nicely in X Factor. So you can do stuff like this. And then I believe I'll be able to get another one like that. So in X Factor, you can do stuff like that, which is really cool. So Ken's really a meter hog only because that's what allows him to extend so that he can kill in one touch. If Ken is point, so if let's say I get a combo like this, right? If I do something like this or I do my combo, he's still not going to kill. So even if I had that, it was 633 that I was at and I still get that extension, I'm still not going to be able to kill. I'm still going to need like three bars in order to get a touch of death with Ken. So that's pretty much why I don't think he's a good point. It's because he has to eat meter and just like, he has to burn through the meter. Um, but he has the tools to open people up. He also has an overhead. 
and then he gets his full combo from that overhead. And he, you know, does his thing. But one thing to be careful of is, if you guys haven't noticed, is his normals. His H is really bad because it's very high. So it hits very, very high. So that can miss a lot. And I miss that a lot. So you kind of have to let them go up first. And then you can do your um, thing. I always miss that, but you practice the H or you can after that, it's pretty good. Another thing is if you don't use the ground bounce in the combo, you can do the, as after the super, you can just do the H, I'm sorry, the, um, the medium tatsu, and then extend. And do whatever you want from that. So you can use that as your extension afterward too. And then if you have X Factor, you can do like do the super to the medium thing, and then do something like that, and then do your super in midair because he's gonna burn. He builds meter very nicely when he's in X Factor, so that's really good too. Um, then he also has when you when people are blocking against him. Let me do all guard. He can use that, he can use his dash to get in, and then if people are guarding him, he has the throw, which allows him to extend and do stuff too. So he has that way, to, and then if people are just guarding and they're guarding really well, you can do the overhead. So if he's crouching, you get the overhead, and then you can extend, and then if they block it, you can go to Hadoken, and then do that kind of too. Um, so that's pretty much Ken in a nutshell there. Remember the taunt, the taunt you can X-Factor cancel, um, and that's pretty good because and that allows you to um, B plus. If you do that, but he has to do the full animation from that, so just be careful on that. Remember the throw, the forward throw is key. You want that. You can do this one if you block for an easier combo. If you don't have the meter, you're trying to learn it, like I do. And then you can do the um, heavy sure you can from that, but you get more damage. If you learn the tiger knee to the projectile, it gives you a little bit more damage. As you can see, I miss it all the time. Um, another thing you can do is let's get Sentinel at the two spot. Is Let's give me some meter. So if I do, let's say I do whatever combo, right? I'm just going to... If I do, uh, I still have one guard, that's my fault, that's totally my fault. Uh, auto guard. So let's say I do, my combo here. Actually, I take that back, I messed that up. If I do this, I have to figure it out. Let me change it up. So you can do two supers with Sentinel. Uh, let's do Sentinel and like Akuma. Uh, Akuma is important because I want to show something off with Akuma. So Akuma is a very good assist for him if you use him at the point. But I really don't like Ken at the point. Like I said, he's meter hungry. He really needs a lot of meter. Uh, one other thing I forgot to go over is his jab is really good too. His standing jab, it's a pretty good anti air. Um, his crouching M has really good confirmable range, but not so much on crouching opponents. As you can see, if they are standing, look at this. Let me see if I can get into that range. Whatever, basic combo, right? I'm just showing that. And then obviously his projectile is. And do that, you know, whatever. So what I wanted to show off was this. Yeah, I can get it now, hopefully. So now, if you time that right when he does the spin, you can do um, two Sentinel supers. 
Um, so we can do a plasma storm, and then because it's meaty and it hits on the tip of the toe, you can get another one um, as well. Uh, one of the things I don't... So let me talk to you guys quickly. I know this video has been all over the place about Ken and team structures and things like that. So uh, he's really good at confirming off of things. So let's just say that that's mid-screen, right? So I do a... Nope, I did that, but let's say I do like an assist, right? He can get... He can get nice combos off of everything that he does. So. He did it again with the standing H. There it is, I might get it now. I did it too late. But, um, so anyway, with the assist... You don't get the reset, uh, as you do kind of do with Nova, you get the double bounce. But, like I said... He gets good full combos. I think it's S and... I do that. So basically that's pretty much Ken in a nutshell. Uh, if you manage to get a shoe in here, you can do that. That's pretty much the basic concept. And then do another super, right? So that's pretty much always what you should be looking for with him. If you want a little extra damage, learn the tiger knee. Uh, fireball, it'll give you a little bit more damage. Uh, and then the forward throw, we know that, the overhead. Um, now I want to go over the level 3 before I, I'm done. So the level 3, you can do the same, pretty much the same thing. Um, but this is something you can do there. And it hits OTG too, which is fantastic. So you can do something like this. Just basic ground series, I'll keep it simple for now, because I suck. That's a little that is OTG, so that's really good too. And then you can probably land and extend from that. I'm guessing you can. Then do your uh, there turn. So that's basically Ken in a nutshell. Just remember that uses dash cancels bold cancel thing to keep pressure on and to extend your combos. Do forward H S mean mean H N this and then when you're done with the super you can double up the super sure you can and then go into another super um, and then if you don't have the ground bounce after you do the super you do the medium tatsu um, the forward though you can get the full combo as long as you memorize it and, you and then you do your super I suck at doing the tiger knees right now but that's basically Ken in a nutshell um, you can do, like I said, he confirms pretty nice off of Akuma. And I'm missing it, but that's basically Ken in a nutshell, guys. I uh, hope you appreciate it. Hope you liked the video. I'm sorry about all the drop combos, but hope you like it. Take care, guys. Enjoy Ken.